are ketones harmful for your heart? This is a question that's been on a lot of people's minds ever since a study was published in Signal Transduction in Targeted Therapy, showing that in a rat model and in cell culture from human cells, that higher levels of ketones can cause cardiac fibrosis. Well, what does this mean for you? If you're on a keto diet, do you all of a sudden need to worry about harming your health, your heart health? I'm Dr. Brett Scher, the medical director at dietdoctor.com, and this is exactly the type of study that I think we need to talk more about to sort of calm down the fear, because a lot of people like to generate fear when a study like this comes up, and it's a complicated study that deserves to be um, investigated more deeply and put into context of um, human studies that show ketones help heart function and a recent review that also just came out reviewing the overall effects of ketones on the heart. So the timing is perfect because this study came out and then a major review in the Journal of American College of Cardiology came out showing very different findings. So which do we believe? Well, let's talk about it. So the first study, the one in signal transduction and targeted therapy, looked at rats. Okay, I'll right away raises a red flag to draw sweeping conclusions from rat studies, although can certainly generate hypotheses. And what they found was by feeding a ketogenic rat chow that had, let's see here, it was 16% casein, 4% soybean oil and 63% cocoa butter. That was sort of the makeup of it. Um, they that, that When they looked at the rat heart cells, they found more fibrosis, which is a, a simple word of sort of like uh, scarring, I guess you could say, and that the heart got a little bit bigger and the function decreased a little bit. So, so that sounds concerning, right? Um, now it's, it's rats, it's not human physiology. Um, these rats were fed, they weren't living, you know, free living as the humans are. So there, there's some correlations there that, that don't quite fit, but okay, why would there be scarring? They talk about some mechanisms, but here's the other thing. People say, well, this study showed it in human hearts as well. And that's where this study really breaks down because the human hearts were, um, cell samples from patients who had rheumatic valve disease. Now, what's rheumatic valve disease? It, it happens when you get an infection, um, infections that anybody can get, like streptococcal infections that aren't adequately treated. And in some rare cases, those infections can infect the heart valve and it starts to eat away at the heart valve and the valve needs to be replaced. Now, so right away, these were not people following a ketogenic diet. Um, these were people who had one specific condition and in modern society, it's actually very rare. It's usually third world countries that we see um, rheumatic heart disease now. Um, so right away, you're using a very suspect population that probably doesn't apply to everybody. Um, and they found that you know higher levels of beta hydroxybutyrate um, in some of these tissues uh, for people who had atrial fibrillation and underwent the surgery, but. And that tells us nothing because, again, these were not free-living, healthy people eating a ketogenic diet. So I, I think we just have to throw out that data because it's not applicable. And that's one of the, that's sort of that level that a lot of people just react to the headline and, and don't go to the details. And why is this important? Well, this is really important because in this thread on Twitter from Nick Noritz and then Ben Bickman responding, there was a published paper um, March of 2019 in Circulation that showed in humans, right, an intervention study in 16 humans with heart failure, giving them beta hydroxybutyrate, the ketone body, actually improved their cardiac function. They had heart failure and you're giving them ketones. Their cardiac output, the amount of blood their heart can push with each beat improved, right? Their, their heart rate improved, their um, overall ejection fraction improved. Um, so in this study, it was pretty conclusive that the ketone bodies were beneficial for heart function. So this to me is a much more valuable study because it's in humans, you know, free living, um, and, it, and ketones actually improved their heart function. Now, the third part of this to factor in is the Journal American College of Cardiology just published a review um, that was a, a very good overview about the effects of ketones on cardiovascular function. And again, it was overwhelmingly positive that it decreased, they decrease inflammation, they improve endothelial function, um, they decrease oxidative stress and improved mitochondrial function, um, and they improve cardiac remodeling. Remodeling is the change of the shape of the heart, either the atrium or the ventricle. And that's what this rat study seemed to imply was negative. But here, in the Journal of American College of Cardiology, there's a paper reviewing the literature, in mostly in animals, showing that it was actually beneficial. 
makes you want to just put your hands up in the air and say, I give up. I don't know what to do anymore, right? Well, that's the thing. You know, you can react to any one study. Um, but the key is trying to put it into perspective in all the other data we know. So we have human studies showing ketones are beneficial for the heart. We have this great review in Journal American College of Cardiology showing through multiple studies that ketones have beneficial effects on the heart. And then we have this one study in rats showing that there's um, negative effect of ketones on the heart. So which do we believe? Well, I'm always going to default to the human studies. I mean, that's most important. I'm going to default to intervention studies rather than observational studies. Um, and then I'm going to put animal studies, you know, together and, and see which um, sort of the majority of the studies find. So basically, you know, we don't have a clear 100% answer because this hasn't been studied very much. But I guess my point is the main conclusion of this video, and hopefully if you made it this long, you're, you're waiting for a conclusion, is to, to, to calm down, right? Like the people who are, who are publicizing this study as the end-all be-all proof that ketones hurt myocardial function, heart function, are just wrong. It's not the end-all be-all. It's one piece of the puzzle, something that should be studied more. But when put into context with all the other um, evidence we have, I, there is no reason at this point to get to get um, upset and to get worried uh, because there's plenty of other data suggesting that it's beneficial. Okay, so hopefully this helps you sort of interpret this in context, which is so important. What does it mean for you as an individual? Probably not much at this point. Okay, so stay tuned. Maybe we'll have more evidence to come. But right now, if you're seeing benefits of weight loss, improved metabolic health, decreased inflammation, feeling better from having ketones in your body from having a ketogenic diet, this study doesn't do anything to say you should stop that. All right. Thanks a lot, everybody. Have a great day. We'll see you next time on Diet Doctor News on YouTube.